Hey guys, this is a comparison video I wanted to do between the Convoy L8 and this comes with the SBT 90.2 and the Convoy L21B, newcomer for me with the XHP 70.3 high. So does have a larger die surface than the 90.2, but uh, technically the 90.2 can produce more lumens, more throw as well in a larger host like this one here and yeah i'll have some beam shots later which you can also skip to if you want but the l8 i mean this thing is gigantic it's the the king really at the end of the day if you want something that throws the furthest um, large reflector in there the led that sbt 90.2 is uh, just able to be able to drive that a lot harder um you know, smaller reflector here. You can probably fit this one into your jacket pocket. I was able to. This one, I don't know. I think this is more of a backpack sort of flashlight. Okay, both have smooth reflectors, bezels, a little bit different. You know, there's some more cooling fins on the L8 just due to the extra heat that's going to be produced. Another difference is the L8 has a side switch. Okay, that's pretty much how you operate the flashlight but the L21B is operated by a tail switch. I really prefer this design. Um, I just find it a lot more easier to use that way, um, kind of tactical style, whereas I don't know if it's really gonna work with the L8. This thing is pretty, pretty head heavy, so I can see why uh, they put the switch here. It just is more evenly weighted. That's like the balancing point of the flashlight. And with both of these, lights if you want a battery you're gonna to have to pay for it separately uh, with the l8 i recommend that you get it with the battery because it comes with a 26 800 cell very difficult to find out there in the market but uh, the l21b just runs on the standard 21 700 cell so you can use any anyone at home if you've already got one in terms of the uis i really prefer the one on the l to one b and the reason is uh yeah you can modify it if it's got a 12 modes that you can select from i've got this on the five mode grouping so just uh you basically turn it on you can cycle from 0.1 1 percent 10 percent 35 percent and 100 percent okay you can also program it to just access 100 percent various different settings in there but it's quite simple with the l8 however you are using a ui in there that's already pre-programmed in so switch it on and you basically just hold um, hold that button to go between the different modes okay and one thing i find as well is that uh, the, the light will actually memorize the last mode so if i um say if i have this this light in turbo okay double press for turbo i switch that light off and i switch the light on again it's in turbo again so that's something um, that you really have to be careful with so that you don't blind yourself okay there's no way to switch that off so that it goes yeah straight to the lowest mode um, you can lock out the light as well you can check the battery voltage um, what else can you do there is a tactical mode as well where you click four times and you click and hold to access momentary 100% Okay, but there is a bit of a de slight slight delay when you press that button. Simple UI, it's not 100% perfect, but it does do the trick, gets the job done. If you check on Simon's store, you find that the L8 costs over twice the price of the L21B. So it's not surprising given that this light produces more throw, like significantly more throw, twice as much as the L21B 700 meters. This one produces twice and a bit of that. So uh, yeah, it's a lot larger, definitely the one you wanna get if you are just looking for sheer power and throw and just that wow factor, the L8. But uh, with that said, the L21B with the 70.3 high is also very, very impressive. And um, especially if you're new to flashlights, this thing is just gonna blow you away with what it can do for a flashlight like this, $38 and you know, I wouldn't say it's super, super large, more sort of a head, but uh, you can easily fit this in your backpack.
Anyway, let's cut to the beam shots. Okay, we've got a battle here of two giants. We've got the Convoy L21B with the XHP 70.3 high, and I've got the Convoy L8. So let's go with the L21B first. And you can see here that's with the XHP 70.3 high. Very, very strong thrower. I mean, it's just easily reaching the back of those trees at 200 meters okay but let's get the l8 convoy l8 here out on the right and this thing is just i mean this thing is amazing I mean, compared to the look at how look at how intense that hot spot is at, right at the back um it's reaching the tree that is all the way in the back of that clearing it's even difficult to sort of see it there on camera but uh Yeah, so much more intense hotspot, I'd say. The spill is even brighter on the L8. If you see here on the ground, just comparing the two spills, L8 and the XHP 70.3 high, L21B. So, yeah, you've got more spill, brighter spill. I mean, everything is just generally brighter. Um, but that's as expected with the larger post like this. Um, incredible both of these the sheer amount of light that these are producing close to 10,000 lumens um, it's blowing out the camera even at the front but I'm just running these both for a little bit longer to see exactly what happens um, the visibility is just I mean if you look at the the L the the L8 the visibility at the bottom of those trees you can see all the way all the way into the base of those trees so easily um, you can still see what's going on with that 70.3 high the L21B but uh, just much more concentrated beam but I can yeah I can see the L L8 is starting to ramp down and same with the L21B. I just wanted to see how they both kind of performed together side by side and they're excellent throwers but you know there are some significant differences in the range obviously the price as well and the size of both of these lights I'd get the L8 if you just want longest throwing light more than double the price but you've got the L21B which is very very affordable only $38 with this LED and uh, honestly it competes quite well with the L8 but of course I mean with the L8 I just can't beat it 